Hello and welcome to Wales. I'm here to tell the story of the Welsh Red Squirrel. I'm making my way up to the northwest, but join me as I go through Snowdonia National Park. I'm on my way to Anglesey. Anglesey is separated from mainland Wales by the Menai Strait. Crossing the bridge takes you to the large island. Anglesey has the largest population of red squirrels in Wales. And before we find some, let me tell you about a radical pioneering conservationist who brought the red squirrel back to Anglesey. In the late 19th century, grey squirrels were introduced in England and they quickly spread to Wales. They crossed the Menai Strait in the 1960s. Soon Anglesey was covered in greys. Esme Kirkby was a drama graduate from London and she moved to Wales. She was an outsider with no experience, but she successfully ran a farm and she was passionate about involving the community. Esme was appalled that agencies had failed to conserve red squirrels. 
By the mid-1990s, there were only 40 reds on Anglesey and 3,500 greys. Esme initiated a partnership with the community and the management of grey squirrels began. She passed away before her dream became a reality and in 2013 the last grey was removed. And now the red squirrels have flourished. This woodland on Anglesey has a stronghold of red squirrels, thanks to the community who care for the squirrels. Past abandoned train tracks, a rushing river is a section of woodland that is known as the best spot in Wales to see red squirrels. So I wasn't lied to when I was told this is the best spot in Wales to see red squirrels. It was great fun to be surrounded by red squirrels again. Thank you Squarespace for supporting this video. Since becoming an ambassador for the Red Squirrel Survival Trust, I visited Cumbria and Scotland to tell conservation stories about red squirrels. And now that I'm sharing the story about the Welsh red squirrel, I've updated my website with photos and information about this project. Squarespace is very user-friendly and you don't need to be an experienced website designer to create a professional website to showcase your work. If you want to give Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code dannyconnorwild. I'm in a very different environment. I'm at the zoo. I'm at the Welsh Mountain Zoo and they've got some red squirrels here and I'm about to speak to Amy to find out why they have red squirrels. My name is Amy, I am a zookeeper at the Welsh Mountain Zoo, but I am also the red squirrel species monitor for our captive red squirrels. My work with the red squirrels entails keeping an eye on all of the captive red squirrels that we have throughout the UK in some of our collections, monitoring the breeding, breeding success, and then moving those squirrels around collections to ensure we have good genetic diversity. But I'm also the link with Natural Resource Wales for any future release programmes. Over the years, we've been able to supplement the wild populations, both on Anglesey and in Clackinog, with some of our captive red squirrels. I think they are a really iconic species to have in the UK, and they've disappeared so dramatically due to the greys. But through reintroductions, we've been able to reintroduce them into several areas in Wales. And not just with the red squirrels, we're now part of the reintroduction of Pymar 
martins and of course they work hand in hand with the red squirrels by keeping the grey squirrels down but they are such a, a cute cuddly species and so iconic to have in our UK countrysides. I've learnt so much about the red squirrels on Anglesey, but what about the rest of Wales? I am now in mid Wales and I'm currently sitting in this amazing forest. There are so many little mushrooms and it is covered in this beautiful blanket of moss and it is quite enchanting. And there are red squirrels here. However, this is a monoculture woodland. So these are planted trees, they're not native here. And the only reason the red squirrels have survived here is because the gray squirrels couldn't survive here. Squirrels like a mixed woodland and red squirrels have just managed to survive on basically one tree species. I'm about to meet Sarah, who is going to tell me a bit more. So my name is Sarah Purden. I am the Mid Wales Red Squirrel Officer with the Wildlife Trust of South and West Wales. So my work is to work with members of the Mid Wales Red Squirrel Partnership, which is volunteers, local people and commercial forest operators, as well as some other charities. The biggest challenge without a doubt for red squirrels in Mid Wales is the grey squirrel population. Grey squirrels just spread to the best habitat. They went to the oak woods with the acorns and the hazelnuts and everything like that. It turns out the reason why the red squirrels have survived here in mid Wales is because this is really bad squirrel habitat. The seeds of these trees are tiny. So this is a Sitka spruce cone. They're not big. And then inside these cones, there are these seeds, but the actual seed, it's absolutely tiny. And the amount of effort they have to put in to get the food is not worth it. But because red squirrels are that much smaller, they can survive on Sitka spruce. And that has led people to think that Sitka spruce is a good habitat for red squirrels, and it's not. It's almost just a coincidence that it happens to be a quick growing commercial crop that has created this little refuge for the red squirrels. And that is why we've held on to them here in Mid Wales. What we're trying to do at the moment is we're doing DNA work to look at if this small red squirrel population is even one small red squirrel population or actually three tiny squirrel populations because even looking on a map can easily see that there are huge areas where there are no trees, there's no habitat connectivity. Another battle that we're fighting is at the moment the standard method of forestry is clear felling where huge areas of timber will be cut down all in one go. The red squirrels are native and they hold a huge significance in our culture and in our environment and we have a responsibility to look after that. Bye. I know too well about the risk of clear felling and how detrimental it can be to the red squirrels. And you'd think it's just forestry companies that we need to worry about. So the spooky sequence you saw at the start of the video was filmed in this woodland and this is Penross Coastal Park. This is 30 acres of ancient woodland and we actually saw a red squirrel here. So there are red squirrels here and so many other species. The issue with this woodland is that it's going to be completely cleared and they're going to put some holiday homes we're constantly told we need to plant trees and here we are in a lovely forest and they're just going to cut it all down to make some holiday homes. And apparently they're going to replant the trees, which makes no sense. You can't recreate a living ecosystem. You can't replace the bacterias, all the mutualisms and interactions between plants, animals, insects. It doesn't work like that. You don't replant a habitat. And it just seems ridiculous that they're going to clear it to make some holiday homes.
It's sad to think the hard work of the community and conservation organisations can be taken away so easily. There's two things that I've really learnt. First, conservation efforts can make great achievements when passionate individuals take radical decisions. Secondly, red squirrels are far more resilient than I once thought. And when given the opportunity, they can bounce back. Tomorrow is my last day and I'm not looking forward to the predicted weather conditions. It is horribly wet and soggy, but today is my last day in Wales and we're hoping to get some red squirrels. Was there one behind me? Today I'm joined by 17-year-old Marcus Roberts who recently told a newspaper that if he could photograph anyone, it would be a red squirrel. So today, Red Squirrel Survival Trust and I have organised for him to meet the red squirrels. I've never been stupid enough to sit in the rain to photograph squirrels. So I wouldn't know how fun it is to photograph the squirrels shaking the water off their bodies. Marcus managed some great shots. Thank you so much for watching and following my adventure in Wales. I'll see you in the next video.